What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans. This is EJ Joyful Plans filming desk. Whoop, whoop. And this is my sticker collection. If you have seen the title of this video, you know that today we're going through all of my sticker books and doing a little bit of a de stash. This is for sure brought on or not encouraged. What's the word? I am inspired. I have been inspired by Desiree's video, Mary Ellen's video, Elisa's videos on de-stashing, and I'm just like feeling it today. I'm feeling it. So I want to downsize. So these are all of my Happy Planner sticker books, all of my Happy Planner sticker books, which I know is way more than most, but actually probably not as much as the ladies <laughs> I just mentioned. Um, so it's it's a lot and I don't need all of it. And I think for some of these older books, I've used the sticker sheets that I would be using. And so I can get rid of some. And my plan is to go each sticker book one by one, flip through, see if there's any pages that I'd like to pull out. And then I will be moving them into these DIY sticker books. I've already started some, you can see here, they're pretty full. Um, but I do have a couple of newer ones that that I can fill in and maybe create some like new categories. So that's what we're doing today. I am not sure as of this intro whether or not I'm going to speed this up or talk through each sticker book. I feel like this would take forever, but we'll see. We shall see. So without further ado, let's get to de-stashing. Oh, one last thing. Uh, most of these sticker books I paid for myself, but... In August, I joined the Happy Planner Squad, and a lot of these sticker books are from being on Squad. So the newer sticker books I am for sure keeping. If I received it from Squad, I am keeping so I can continue to use them. And if I de-stash any sticker books, they will be ones that I purchased myself and that are probably a little bit on the older side. So let's get into it. All right, box number one. You can see for the most part that this is sorted in alphabetical order. Most of my sticker books are sorted in alphabetical order. And I always thought that was strange because I thought there was no way that I could memorize what was in sticker books and what the names of the sticker books were. But very quickly into my Happy Planner journey, I realized it's actually very easy to, uh, to memorize sticker book names. So I did sort in alphabetical order, but I did separate... I think Disney and I separated, uh, what was the other? Oh, Seasons. So those were in separate boxes. Everything else was in alphabetical order. And what I'm going to do is go through each box, go through each of the sticker books. And then at the end, once I've pulled out the sheets that I'm keeping, then we'll transition into how I'm separating them into the DIY sticker books. So we'll have kind of a two-parter all in this same video. Let's get going with this. So the first book is the Botanicals book. I really do love this sticker book, but I'm starting to feel like a lot of the stickers um, that I've wanted to use, I will use. A lot of the ones left are gold foil, which I'm not a huge gold foil fan. And I've already pulled out the florals from this book and put them in my flowers DIY sticker book. So I'm gonna put the Botanicals, oh my goodness in the D stash box. The Align sticker book, I just got this one. I am keeping it. The black and white sticker book, I love this one. This is a great standout, easy to use, easy to use with any other sticker book. So keeping black and white, that is a no brainer. Bold and blush, this I, is from I the love fall the collection book, but and I'm starting I have to feel like I've begun. Used Oh, to uh, get it's into to feel it. like I've only done one spread with this. All so the far. stickers that I'm like I mean, really excited about, quotes. and I've done a few spreads love over black. time. Quotes. I really uh -oh, love with these, this one. So um, header stickers. So definitely keeping. I bold think I might and take blush. out the. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, there might still be some. Some. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep bookish. Then we have Budget. This is one of the older Budget sticker books. And 
I don't love the rainbow element of it, but it's the only budget book that I have. And so I'm going to keep it. Ooh, I like those icons. I'm going to keep the budget sticker book. This is a brand new one. I bought this on sale at Michael's, the caregiver sticker book. And yeah, I like the colorway of this. So we're going to keep caregiver. Celebrate. I have used this book so much. Do I? Oh yeah, there's still some good. There's still some good decorative stickers in here. I like those banner stickers. So I'm going to keep the Celebrate book. Coloring book, I love and I haven't used it that often. So I'm definitely keeping this. Oh, it's got some stick curls in there. Yeah, keeping the coloring book. This is, and I think this was in the spring of last year release. Really. So keeping that one. Colorful shapes. Uh, colorful shapes. I'm going to keep the colorful shapes. I'm not doing so great so far, you guys. Color story, brand new. Keeping this. Love it. This color story is an older color story. And I think I've used everything that I would want to use. Yeah, I loved this story. Yeah, I'm going to... Ooh, there's a nice travel one that's fun. But I'm not a huge... Ooh, I like the seasonal. Okay, so this is one of those cases where I'm going to pull out some of these seasonal. Maybe... Maybe just the seasonal icons. So I'm going to pull this guy out. Um... Let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to take this one as well out of here. Uh-oh, if it'll let me. Yep, so pulled that out and I'm going to say goodbye to this color story. But my now. Then we have Cool to be Kind. I really love the colors in this book, but I think I've used it. Yeah, I mean, look, I've used it so many times. Although I haven't used that sheet. See, it's got a lot of gold. I like these stickers. Um, but I think it might be, yeah, I used, used a lot. I'm going to pull out, hmm. Go ahead and pull this off and take this as a decorative, decorative sheet. And then I do like these boxes. I don't know if I've said what I'm going to do with the sticker books that I am giving away, but I'm going to be giving them away. I'm not selling these or anything. So I am getting rid of my cool to be kind sticker book because again, I feel like I've like these quotes are amazing. I already used them. The squeeze the day kind of lemon sheet, loved that, used that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Dream seeker. Y'all are gonna hate me, but I think I gotta get rid of something about the skulls, like the yeah, something about the skulls kind of creeps me out. Um, it's a little too... The feathers are pretty. Um, I like these quotes, but I don't like the the uh, copper. That's a nice, nice headers. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm done with, with this book. So, those are pretty. Very pretty. But I don't need them, and I know that somebody would love this book. So I'm getting rid of Dream Seeker. Everyday Wrong Wrong. The Wrong Wrong Girls are not, not a thing for me. Uh, I don't like really putting a lot of people in my planner. And this actually had a lot of colorful boxes in it, which I've already pulled out. So I am going to get rid of the Everyday Wrong Wrong. Empowering Woman, one of my favorite sticker books of all time. But I, I've used so many of the... Oh, movie night. That's kind of a cute. I, I've used a lot of sheets from this book. And I'm not sure if I'll grab for this one again. So this is a hard one. Because I have like a lot of sentimental value with this one. Some of my earlier spreads included this book. And I, I'm a big fan but I think if I'm really honest with myself, I probably won't come back to it. So I'm getting rid of that fitness sticker book. This is like the second version um, after Healthy Hero. And I've used it. Oh, mm. 
<laughs> I think early on when I was using stickers, when the sticker she like from the bottom, so I always use stickers usually if they're the same from the bottom up and I would like trim off if I cut them out. I don't do that anymore. Ooh, I do like these food ones. So I think what I'll do with this fitness book is actually pull out sheets that I know that I'm, oh, there's some good icons in here. Ooh, um, I could start a DIY, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one, but I'm kind of tempted to start a DIY sticker book that's maybe like health and wellness is the theme. And if I do that, then I will pull out the fitness sticker. So I'm going to actually set this in a new stack, which will be pull sheets out and figure out your life after that. <laughs> okay, fancy florals. When did I get this one? Um, this is a beautiful book that I always forget about. It's a newer one. I am for sure keeping it. It is lovely. Oh, it's a teacher book. Yeah, I think I picked this up on sale at Michael's. I need to use it more. So I'm going to keep that one. Farmhouse, classic, oldie but a goodie. I kind of feel like I've used what I would want to use from it though. So let me do a quick little flippy flip. Um, oh, I do like those headers. Okay, I think this is an easy one for me. I'm going to pull out this sheet because I think these headers are excellent. So I'm gonna pull that out. Um, and let's see, there's not that much left of that. I don't think I'll use the crock pots. I like the colors of the farmhouse, but I don't love the, um, it's a little too farmhousey. You know what I mean? So colors, yes, but like the crock pots aren't really my jam. I do love these arrows. So I'm going to pull this sheet out and I'm saying goodbye to farmhouse. I'm doing it. Hope I don't regret it. Okay, florals. This was part of a box bundle where it came with a storage box and lovely florals. And I am for sure keeping this one. And this makes me feel better about getting rid of the botanicals book. They're different, but you know, I don't need both floral books. So we're keeping that one. And then we have fun florals, which, oh, there's a lot I have not used yet in the fun florals book. So, oh my goodness. Fun Florals stays, although I just saw this guy. This, this sheet can come out. And actually, why don't I keep this for any random stickers I want to keep? I noticed um, in Elise's video, Playing with Elise, she did that a lot. She pulled out individual stickers. That's not really my style. I'm more likely to pull the whole sheet because if there's one sticker I like on that sheet, uh, it's likely there's more than one that I would like. I'd rather just pull the whole sheet and put it in a DIY sticker book. But in the event there is a one-off random sticker, uh, we will keep that pulled aside just in case. So the fun florals, I have a lot to go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Guy. We just freed up a whole section and we are getting rid of, or we are, we are rehoming these ones. So we're going to keep that there and feel good about life with this. Here is the next box. And I can already tell that there's a lot in here. Ugh, I think this might be half, half keep, half, half uh, get rid of, but let's see. I don't even have to flip through this. I already know Girl With Goals is a keeper. It is a winner. I would buy duplicates of this book. I just think this, this is an excellent book. I even have the accessory pack for this. I love, love, love this book. Next is glitter paint. I bought this on clearance and I like some elements of it and I don't like other elements of it. So I, I probably wouldn't use the boxes, but I would use the clear sheets, the decorative sheets like these. So the question is, Ooh, and then there's some quotes there. I'm going to keep this one for now just because it's newer in my collection. I know it's not a new sticker book, but it's new to me. And I think it still has some use to it. Next is Glam Girl in the mini. This was one of those, I know you guys are going to feel me on this. This was one of those sticker books that I saw clearanced at Michael's. And it was 
gosh, like a year after this book came out. I am not a glam girl. Like I love makeup, but this, nothing about this like speaks to me. I really just bought it because it was deeply clearance. And I was like, oh, it's a happy planner girl. Like I have to have it. And it's just taking up space at this point. So I'm going to pull out, um, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to pull out these. No, I'm going to leave the header stickers, but there is, I want these polka dots. These are clear dots. I think, yeah, those will be, I think I could get some use out of. So we're going to say goodbye to Glam Girl in the mini. I love this goals sticker book. Have I taken or used all that I would want to use? I might get rid of this one. Oh, it's hard. So we've got two goals sticker books. And this is the newer one. I'm keeping the newer one. So I'm going to set this aside. Let me look at this one more time. I'm going to take out this sheet. Oh my goodness. All right, getting rid of this goals book. This is a much older book. This is the Gold Star Quotes. I think my mom picked this up for me at like grocery outlet. And this has a lot of really great clear stickers, lots and lots of quotes. And I'm going to keep this one because I do like quotes. I use mostly black quotes, but um, ooh, there's lots of, hmm. Oh, this is a tricky one. This is one where I'd pull the Elise and actually pull off individual quotes. Courage, dare heart. I love that. I love that there are... Okay, these are seasonal quotes. I'm going to pull these sheets out. So there's a Christmas sheet, a spring sheet, a summer sheet, and a fall sheet. And I'm going to put this in my... I think I have a... Yeah, I have a seasonal... So we'll do that. Since I pulled out the seasonal, I'll be able to find the seasonal if I'm looking for seasonal. And then if I'm looking for a random quote, I can pull this. This might end up going in the future, but it's going to survive the first round. We're on to going places. This is a wrong, wrong sticker book. And the illustrations are gorgeous. They really are. But this actually really is a great book. But am I really going to add girls to my planner? That's what I have to be really honest with myself about. I'm just going to say goodbye because it's not likely that I will want to put them in my planner. Good Habits. I already know I'm keeping this book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I've used it quite a bit, as you can tell. But I'm not done with it yet. And honestly, I've been on the hunt for another one of these. They don't sell it on the Happy Planner website. I've only been able to find it in Michael's. And Michael's, I think my Michael's is sold out. So Good Habits, highly recommend that book if you can find it. Handwritten colored boxes. Keeping this one because it's just super functional. Handwritten plans, this is new to my collection. I picked it up a couple months ago and yeah, definitely keeping that one. Happy Plans, one of my favorite books of all time. I love this sticker book so much. It is not going anywhere. I've used it a lot, but I know I will... I mean, look, there's lots of, I don't know if you can tell, but lots of sheets are empty or near empty, but I'm just not, I mean, look at this. Like, look how pretty. Happy Plans is new to my collection. I got this in my squad box and I've used it once so far. I think it's a really great functional sticker book and I am keeping it. Happy and Grateful, beautiful sticker book. This was in the um, Grateful Heart be happy box from the fall. This is a gorgeous minimalist sticker book. This is a beautiful book. You cannot find it alone, separate from the box, but I'm, I'm guessing the box might still be online. So I might want to check that out again. That was a fall be happy box exclusive. Happy illustrations. I love this sticker book, but I kind of think I've probably, yeah, I love the discs and the planners. I think I'm, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna not keep it. I'm gonna not keep it and take out some of these clear decorative stickers. Um, so I'm gonna take, am I gonna do it? I think so. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is start a DIY sticker book that is like illustrations. Like I'm gonna leave this in here so it's not too 
um, naked. I'm gonna do an illustrations. Yeah, we're gonna take this out for maybe go wild. And I think we're gonna say, ooh, that's fun. Let's keep these. Let's keep these animals. I keep those. And we're gonna say goodbye to happy illustrations. Happy and kind faith. I've barely used this. I am for sure keeping it. It's the only, it might be the only faith book that I have. I don't necessarily feel like my stickers have to be faith related. So I just use stickers that I like in all planner types, if that makes sense. So homebody, I thought I had more homebody than this. So I've got homebody mini. I'm keeping the homebody mini. That's gonna happen. So I wonder where my, oh, I think I have the Homebody Seasons in a different, in a different spot. Here is the full-size home, Homebody. You can see I've used quite a bit of the florals. And I'm going to keep this one too. So I'll have the Homebody Mini, the Homebody Full-Size, and the Homebody Seasons in my collection. I feel good about that. Then we have the Household Sticker Book. I barely use this. Uh, I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> Ooh, I like these icons. I'm going to keep some of these. I'm not going to keep that. I do want to keep that and that and that. Um, and I want to keep that. All right, so... The rest of the household book I am de-stashing. So now I'm starting to see, I've got like icons, I've got decorative stickers. If you guys can see when I'm, how I'm starting to kind of see things for my DIY sticker book. So set that aside. The Indigo sticker book I am keeping. I wish there was more navy in here. That's my only gripe with this sticker book. This was in the spring, I think, collection last year but it still has some life left in it, so I am keeping that one. The last book in this box is The Hustle and Heart. This, uh, a squad mate sent to me, and I love it, I love the colors. Still so much use out of this one. It has a little bit more navy, which I love. So I am keeping that, and as we look at the box now, we again, although a little messy, have cleared up another section in the back. And this is where we're at with our de-stash uh, stash. So I'm going to put this box back and grab the next one. Ooh, this is exciting, friends. Very exciting. Jewel tone boxes. This is a no-brainer. I am keeping this. This book you cannot find. It was exclusive to a box bundle on the Happy Planner website, which is no longer available. I love the colors of this. So this is never leaving. The Keep Going sticker book I just bought recently. This is a fall release sticker book. It is beautiful. And I got this at Joann's. So love it, keeping it, not going anywhere. Life is a party. This one, man, the thing came off of it. Ugh, I loved this book when I got it. And it's, mm, I think it served its purpose. I feel like I've used all the stickers that I would want to use, except for the remaining bubble, like balloon ones. So I'm gonna pull out the balloon sheet. I'm gonna say goodbye to Life is a Party. Live Creatively, when did I get this one? This is one I have not used very often. I don't do a ton of rainbows in my planner. I'm gonna let this one go. I think I'm gonna let this one go. But I do like this sheet. So I'm going to pull this sheet off. And let me see if, and I mean, I love, this is like iconic, do you know what I mean? I am going to do this for the first time. We're gonna keep that sticker. Let me see if there's any other stickers that are like iconic. Don't quit your daydream. I could do a pretty cute spread with these stickers and the new Happy Plans book. So see with the black and the rainbow, that's a very iconic Happy Planner. So if I wanted to do a Happy Planner spread, I could do 
I could do that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one as well. These two boxes. And then I think I will call it good. Okay, we're getting rid of Live Creatively. Ooh, my stack's starting to get full. I gotta move this. I think I gotta move this out of the way. Next, we've got Marabou Design. We are keeping that. One of my favorite sticker books of all time. I actually have this in my shopping cart on the Happy Planner website because I love it so much. There are gorgeous uh, clear quotes. There are gorgeous flowers and like flamingos. I'm not ready to give this up yet, but it's getting close. It's getting very close because it's actually starting to fall apart. Keep that one. Next section, minimalist. Pastel colors have not been speaking to me lately. They've, they're they just too gentle. I like that this is minimal, but I don't know. Like I want neutrals that are punchy, not necessarily pastel, if that makes sense. I'm on the fence about this one. I'm gonna keep it for now, but this probably wouldn't make the next D stash. Modern Farmhouse, I think might need to, I think I've used, let me move this stuff out of the way. I think I've used the stickers that I want to use out of here. But let's do a little looky-loo. I do like the colors. I'm gonna keep Modern Farmhouse. This would be another one though that, I don't know, I probably would get rid of. Miss Maker, look, I'm not, we're just gonna move past that one. The neutral watercolors are new in my collection. These are fall release, I am keeping these for sure. And then Out for Adventure, y'all. I like missed the hype on this when it came out and I waited and waited and waited and then it went on sale and I was like, yes, please. I love the sticker book. It is a student sticker book, but um, the colors are so pretty, the illustrations are so pretty and they are totally like, good for anybody you don't have to you don't have to just be a, a student to uh to appreciate that papillon i just picked up in the fall release it's a beautiful sticker book and i'm not even a butterfly fan and i this blew me away so we are keeping papillon planner babe i can't get rid of planner babe can i i really do love the colors in this book man this is hard i'm gonna um, this is hard. I'm gonna pull out the travel ones and I think it's time to let it go. Let me throw happy plans on here. And planning is my happy hour. I think that's cute. Look, this little this little sheet is like its own, it's like its own little spread. Absolutely fabulous book but I'm pretty much done with it. So I am going to pull these two travel sheets off and oh, like the packing list, that's a good one. I'm just thinking about go wild, do you know what I mean? It's like all about go wild for me. Until I get another sheet for some of these randos, I'm going to grab the packing list and it will be available to me if I want to use it for go wild. I'm saying goodbye to planner babe. Wow it's kind of sad. It's an end end of an era. We are on to planner basics. Oh this book. The mini book specifically. I live for this book simply because of these giant numbers. I've already grabbed all of them out of this book. Um, this is their old school, old style of sticker book, and it's not my preference. So, oh, I like these. Movie night, best year ever, chores, treat yourself, pizza night. Uh, I'm going to pull this guy off, and we're going to say goodbye to Planner Basics. Ugh, I mean, look at how many sheets. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, there were seven sheets of those giant numbers and I'm pretty much done with all of them. And it breaks my heart. Plant Mama, I picked this up again, like the uh, Out for Adventure book, months and months and months after everybody else. And I, I have so much use left of this one. So we are keeping Plant Mama. Pressed florals, uh, not even, 
not even considering getting rid of this one. Oh, I was dreading this book. Um, this is a pregnancy book and I, oh, I went back and forth for like a week at a Michaels trying to decide if I should purchase this. It was clearanced for like $6.99, something like that. And I didn't, I hesitated getting it because I didn't want to see it every time I look at my stickers and be reminded that I have yet to get pregnant. And I wasn't sure if I should get it or not. And I ultimately ended up getting it with the hopes that maybe someday I would be pregnant. And it still kind of haunts me, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it because I don't know what God has for us. And uh, maybe someday I will get pregnant. So we're going to keep the pregnancy book. And uh, yeah, we'll see what God has for me. Shall we? All right, this quotes sticker book. I think this was another um, grocery outlet find that my mom my mom found. So it's quotes, but like not as good as the gold star quotes. And it's all in like boxes and stuff, which are not my favorite kind of quote. So while I like what they say, and I think it's a fun sticker book, they're all paper box uh, quotes. And I just don't think I'll grab for it. So this one is going by my now. Okay, so here we are from this box. Look, we are pretty consistently emptying out the uh, back section. So that's that's actually super cool. This is the last box of this kind, and then we'll get into the seasonal and I think I've got Disney. I'm not getting rid of Disney, but yeah. So this is the last of this type of storage. So much happy. I love this sticker book. I love all the memory keeping sticker books. I, I think I have a thing for them. I like that they're big stickers. They have great quotes. And this is a newer one. It is beautiful. So keeping that one. Um, this is the modern Mickey sticker book. I am for sure keeping this one. I haven't used it yet. Let's stay home. So this is the let, oh, so wait, where is my, oh, I bet it's in the, so there's three types of, of uh, homebody. There's the OG Homebody from like two years ago. There is the Homebody Seasons from like a year ago. And then there's Let's Stay Home, which has that farmhouse style, but it's really, uh, it's it's both seasonal and it's home. I mean, it's actual home, like organize the, decorate the, and these are Christmas, wash the dishes. So it's like tasks that you would do around the home seasonally so like here's dust off the I am for sure keeping this sticker book it's brand new and it's gorgeous so we're keeping that one love for letters love this book this is from the fall release I am not even close to done with this one so that is an easy no-brainer abstract watercolor keeping that one okay so now we're getting into here's another happy memory keeping sticker book but I've already pulled out a lot of the clear stickers that I've, oh, maybe not. So it's seasonal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got to keep this one. This is the holidays book. Rainbow. This is vintage. Look, it's the, the Create 365. And I love that it's got all the colors. Ugh, this is tricky. I'm going to keep this one just because it has so much functionality and it's got almost all the colors. I'm going to keep that one. Simple Brights. This is a lot like the Happy Plans book. I love it so much. This one, I still have a lot of stickers that I would use from this book. Keeping that. Soft Geode. This is a beautiful book. I love it. Have I used all that I would want to use from this book? I've used a lot of the deco. Oh, I still got some deco ones. I'm going to keep the soft geode. Ooh, we're keeping a lot from this box. Sophisticated florals. Just got this. Have only used it once. It is beautiful. Um, gosh, it's really pretty. Keeping sophisticated florals. Spoonful of Faith. This is a new one. And it's in the big, which I super love. Uh, I might actually... I'm going to pull out these 
letters though, because I think I have, yeah, I have a numbers and letters book. So I'm going to pull out these. So while I'm keeping this sticker book, I just think it's easier to have all my letters be together. And ugh, so pretty. So we're going to keep that one. Squad goals. Whoop, whoop. I haven't used this very much. I'm not getting ready, uh, rid of any of my squad sticker books. Not going to happen. Wild styled. I kind of feel like I've used what I'll use. I, this might be crazy, but I think I might actually get rid of wild styled. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, y'all. There was one sheet, though, that I think I would use, which was the these quotes. Yeah, you guys, I'm going to pull this out. I think I'm going to get rid of the wild styled. Yeah, I'm going to keep the quotes and get rid of wild styled. Because I've used a lot of the stickers that I that I would grab. That I would grab. Oh, so hard. I'm doing it. We're walking away. All right, watercolor goals. One of my favorite sticker books of all time. I might be done with this one only because I've used so much of it. Yeah, I've used a lot and I'd replace it like I would get another one, but I think I've used what I would want to use from this book. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to do it, but I'm going to keep these swatches, these header swatches, because I think those are cool. I'll leave the gold ones because I won't use the gold ones, but yeah. All right, we're saying goodbye, watercolor goals. I might replace this book though, um, but I'm gonna say goodbye. Oh, wellness books. Oh, sorry guys, I'm sure you can hear my dog. Uh, these are hard for me because I, in theory, I like them, but I don't think to use them. I do love the colors in this book, but uh, like, am I gonna use it? No, oh, I like these icons. I think I might, I'm going to pull the icons out and get rid of this book. I know, I know it's strange, but be mindful, note to self, be present, get it done. I do like the font on these. I'm going to pull these two out and we're going to say goodbye to wellness. Going to do it. Let's look at this one. I think this is the newer wellness book. And I've used very little of it. Like, I'm not going to decorate with this book. Do you know what I mean? I think I'm maybe I'm finding that I'm, I'm a decorative person plus icons. Maybe that's, like, my aesthetic. All right, I'm going to get rid of the wellness book. Oh, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't buy another wellness book. I just think it might need to have more calming, like, decorative elements to it. So this one I bought, I think I bought this off of eBay and the pages were all falling out, but I got a good deal on it. Um, so we've got some functional icons, some checklists. Ooh, I like those boxes, but I don't really do recipe planning. You know what I mean? Honestly, I'm tempted to pull these out and Maybe that out and that out. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, and then maybe the vegetables. I'm going to do it. This guy and this guy just because it's functional. I do like this one. And then let's grab the vegetables because I think I have a book that's for cooking and food. So... I want to put those in the food and cooking category. I do you like these weekly menu stickers? So I am going to keep these three. And these also will go in the recipe book. Sorry, guys. It's my dog again. All right. Recipe is going bye-bye. Oh, wow. We have a lot to go through. What I didn't mention, and I'll do this off camera, but I do label on the back. I'll write down what book the sheet was taken from. And I do that so that if I'm using a DIY sticker book and I grab a sheet, I know, or I grab a sticker, I know where the sticker came from. 
I hope that I can remember <laughs> I didn't do that as I was pulling out the uh, the sheet. So hopefully I can remember where everything came from. So let's put these guys back in and see, um, did I clear up another section? Yep, I think we're gonna have another empty section. So pretty cool. I'll be able to reconsolidate all of my sticker books. The next stack that is not in a sticker book storage container because I kept them all seasonal. Okay, so no brainer here. The new Valentine's Day book is fabulous. This is part of the Happy Heart Be Happy box that is out now. So I am for sure keeping this one because I love it so much. Haven't even used it yet. Winter, I've got how many winter sticker books? Is that all of our winter? Yeah. Nope, I've got a Merry and Bright. So here are my winter sticker books and I've kind of picked through a lot of these and have used a lot of what I know I would want to use. Christmas Joy is like the original gangsta and I think we're done with Christmas Joy. Oh, we do have the, the countdown stickers. Those are cute. I'm gonna pull out the 12 Days of Christmas sheets. They will go in the seasonal sticker book. And I think we're gonna say goodbye to Christmas Joy. I think I've used just about all that I can use. So we're gonna say goodbye to that one. The winter sticker book, oh, love the colors of this one. Really beautiful. And I'm, I'm not, oh yeah, not ready. Still bucket list items and stuff like that. So for sure keeping that one. This guy, hmm. I'm going to keep, ooh yeah, I always forget about these ornaments. We're gonna keep the winter sticker book. And the last one in the winter season is Merry and Bright. I've used a lot of the decorative stickers out of here. Yep, we're gonna keep this one though. Keep this one. Next, we've got Seasons. I love this book. It is brand new. It was in the fall release. I am for sure keeping this one. So we'll keep Seasons. Squad Life. Squad Life stays. Homebody Seasons. Brand, brand new to me. I think I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. But look, like I forgot about it. And there's like really adorable winter season stickers. So... Keeping Homebody Seasons. Okay, in the fall category, are these all for the fall? Yes. So this is the older one, and it might be time to say goodbye to this one. Let's say goodbye to the fall book. Ooh, it feels weird getting rid of the seasonal because, especially when it's not in season, because then you feel like maybe, I don't know, because you're not in the season, you're not favoring it, but like if October rolled around, I would be feeling differently. You know what I mean? Okay, so I feel like I've used a decent amount of this book. I do like the Autumn is Here book um, sticker. We'll pull this guy off. Let me see if there's any other, just to make it worth keeping this. I'm going to peel off the outer plastic part or the outer sticker. And let me see if there are any, this is gonna be a long video, you guys, long video. Let me see if there's any decorative stickers, maybe from either of these that can make me feel a little bit better about getting rid of these books. Should we keep a turkey? Like maybe I should keep a turkey just in case. You never know, you know? You never know when you're gonna need a turkey. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this turkey and see if there's anything else on the, decorative fall favorites that's a cute sticker if I can get that to fit on there and maybe we'll throw can we get this to fit on here I think so and how about this little guy all right so this will go in my seasonal because I don't, I don't think I can get this to fit let's see if I can add some apple on here Let's add some apple here. And just to be sure that I do not forget, 
that this was from the Fall 514. So we'll go Fall 514 so that I remember where those came from. We're going to say goodbye to this sticker book. And then let me see if there's a near, like what if I grabbed, bear with me here, there was a clear, like what if I pulled this guy off, we labeled this fall 712, and then if I grabbed like this give thanks sticker, really cute bicycle, let's grab the bicycle, see if I can find a spot for it, like if we move this there and then we can put the bike right here cute candle so let's put the candle there it's fall y'all maybe we'll throw that comfy cozy we'll throw that right there let's add sweater weather right there and throw some of these guys down the lined ones specifically because they're much more my style than the solid ones. So I'm gonna lay that down, move this guy down here, and ooh, how about this little maple leaf? Throw that right there. Maybe we call that good. We're gonna call it good. Okay, so I've grabbed some seasonal ones that I think I might still use from the two fall sticker books. I should have done that with the winter, but I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. Look at all these sticker sheets I'm keeping. Makes me feel a little bit better, and it's a super, super uh, downsize from all the sticker books. Let's do a little check-in. These are all the sticker books I am getting rid of so far. That's, that's a pretty good number for me. I'm uh, pretty proud of myself. Let's keep moving. Summer Vibes. I love this sticker book. For summer, I just, I want it. So I'm not gonna get rid of this one. This one stays. Okay, then we get into Disney. I love, love, love all of the Disney sticker books. So those ones are staying. I wanted to show you guys these. So I have, oh man, let me, let's talk about this one. This guy is the, this is the Rainbow Pastels mega book. And in my heart, I feel like I should keep it because it's a mega book, but I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a gemstone person. I do like these kind of oceany stickers. They are cute, but these just aren't. Let's see. I like these clear quotes, work schedule, habit. Oh man. Yeah. I kind of feel like maybe I'll take out some of the icons and I'm going to let this go to a good home because I think someone would really love this sticker book and would use it and be like super pumped about it. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I do like these though for work. So maybe I'll pull these, these stickers out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys out. Set those there. I just think someone like, seriously, if I like gave this away on a buy nothing group, I think someone would just like freak out and just love it so much. We're going to say goodbye. So these sticker books are special to me because if you see up at the top, they are double wide and they have a glue binding. These are sticker books that I made myself from taking two sticker books of the same kind and collating them together. I cut the top off. So I cut this part off. I separated every sheet and then I collated them and glued the top back together. And so these are like mega, mega sticker books and I still use them. So for sure keeping them. So I've got squad goals. I have colorful boxes, which I'm getting to the point where, I mean, look, all the black boxes are just about all the black boxes are gone. I might be able to get, get rid of this one or pull out the, uh, I think what I might do, I'm going to do this one off camera. So I have two, let me show you guys these. I have two 
I've got modern boxes and OG colorful boxes DIY books. The OG colorful boxes are colorful boxes from this kind of book and then the, um, the wrong wrong book that had functional colorful boxes. And so I might, I might be able to actually downsize this to the colorful boxes I'm going to use and put them here in this box or in this book. And then if you're wondering what the modern boxes is, it's functional boxes that I've pulled out from other sticker books. You can see, I mean, I've got wellness, I've got wild styled, I've got indigo. So yeah, so the colorful boxes, I think like this one is gonna get some special love and I'm gonna downsize this. All right, when I started my fitness planning, I picked up two of these fitness books from the Wrong Wrong collection, and I just don't, I'm not using the girls. Do you know what I mean? But there are some functional, uh, very functional, I think I'm gonna need like a fitness book, a DIY fitness book that's gonna have ones from here, and then maybe I take out the most functional from here. So I am going to do that. I am going to downsize this book and merge it with this book. I will say just when it comes to sticker books, like early on, I know people went hardcore with like tearing their books apart. And some people regret having done that now because they like being able to display their books. I like displaying my books and I don't want to take them all apart. But I see, I see the functionality of something like this where you have one storage box that has like a curated selection based on category. And so I will always have one box like that and then keep the rest of, of my sticker books together. This is a great example of a theme that I can downsize into one book. This is my favorite seasonal sticker book of all time. This is Happy Year. I had two of them. I merged them together. And let me just see. I feel like I might... Oh, it's just so good. So this is going to stay just as it is. This is colorful boxes. Same thing where it's two that I put into one. I love this sticker book so much. And I think it's fine just as it is because I know, I know what's in this book. I know when I want to grab for it. I could take it apart if I wanted to. Like if I created a headers book, if I created, I could take some of these boxes. These probably would go in like the modern boxes book. I could take this apart if I want to, but for now, I'm gonna leave this as is. But someday, someday this one might get merged with uh, others and be put in a DIY sticker book. Okay, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Those might be all of my books. I do have large sticker books, and I also have eight, the skinny, like eight sheet sticker packs and the five sheet sticker packs. Those I'm not messing with. Those are fairly new to me. So, um, oh, let me show you guys this. I might be able to get rid of this guy. So here is, <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. The things us planners come up with for storage solutions. So this, I had two of these every day. No, I had an everyday mini pad and a going places mini pad. And I thought it would be cute to punt, to basically take it apart and punch it and put it on discs. So I combined two wrong, wrong sticker books. I have no desire to use these just because they're all decorative and they're all girls and I, I'm not gonna use it, but it's really cute, really, really cute. So I might put, I might take these rainbow discs off and put on different small discs that I won't be using and gift this. So I think this is going in the giveaway pile. Also have this little baby guy. Um, these are all foiled. Oh, that one's not. I'm just not likely to use foiled boxes, but I do like the yellow ones. Colorful boxes mini pad. I'll go ahead and keep this one. Fun florals. And this really is an adorable book, but I always forget about it. So I'm kind of wondering if I should this would be a cute one to give away that I think someone would enjoy. I mean, it is really pretty. That's really pretty. But I always forget about it. 
I think I'm going to give these away too. So maybe I'm giving away, these are the only minis that I have. And I think I'm going to say goodbye to them. I have washi. Washi might need to be a separate video. I'll do washi in a separate video. All right. I had it in my mind that I would basically do everything all in one video. I would de-stash. I'd pull out sheets I wanted to use. I would make more DIY sticker books and set those up. I, I, can't do this all in one video. So this is going to be in a separate video, something along the lines of setting up my DIY sticker books or something like that. So be on the lookout. Let's do a looky-loo at what I'm getting rid of. Oh my, this feels really good, really good. Let's flip this stack over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five standard sticker books plus one mega and three minis. That's something I can be proud of, right? So I will figure out a way to share these with my community. Um, probably maybe take them to the university. Maybe some students would like these or do like a no buy group or something on Facebook, not sure. But really excited to put these in a new home. These have been an incredible bless blessing to me. I've enjoyed using them and I don't want them to just sit here and collect dust. If someone can get good use out of them, then I wanna share, share and spread the love. So we're gonna do that and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it guys. Stay tuned for part two where we're making some custom sticker books and come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you are interested in hanging out with me again, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that next video. Until then friend, God bless you and keep you do something creative today. De-stash, it feels so good honestly to let go of things and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.